Well, on what's turned out to be quite a lovely day after all, it was really nuff this morning, the weather was so misty and damp and everything, but it's turned out to be quite nice. So we're here again for the third year in a row at St Mary's Car Show at St Mary's Inn, just outside of Stannington in Northumberland. It's nice to come somewhere like this and see so many American cars and a really good friend of mine has just turned up in his Mustang. Uh, it's a uh, Grabber Blue 1970. We're just heading up there now to have a quick look around it. And I've just spotted there is a new Edge Mustang parked not far from it as well. Now this is the genuine article, the genuine Boss 302. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous car, though, extremely well looked after, like most Mustangs that are 69s or 70s these days over here. Absolutely amazing. And then there's the New Edge V8 park next to it as well. It's nice to see such a huge selection of American cars here today. Good morning, how are you? Good, yourself? I am, so you got them both down again today? Yeah, yeah. Now if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you may recognise some of these cars, because obviously they're all local cars and we all seem to vary, variegate around the, uh, or even collect around all the same type of car shows. Absolutely gorgeous pair of Mark III Cortinas there, we've got a JXL and a GT. So wonderful. It's beautiful Rolls Royce. Again, another one belongs to a friend of mine. And then there's a, another friend, Derek's old Rover P4. Who's who? <laughs> Who's calling who off? After you. <laughs> Just bumped into one of the guy with the video camera there, getting, getting in each other's ways we're filming. A lovely MG into the Golf, and then this amazing Mark II Mondeo ST200 station wagon. A bit dark there under the trees. I do love a Mark II. I've had one of these. It wasn't an ST, but I did have a station wagon version. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got a very nice Porsche Rover P5. A little Spitfire that we do see kicking around in various places. That like motorbikes. What's this? A Bruff Superior. Absolutely amazing. This also belongs to a, a friend of mine. What an amazing motorcycle though. Absolutely gorgeous. Now as I was walking up there, filming that selection of cars, I did see behind me, over my shoulder, would you believe another 6.9 Mustang has pulled in, also in white. This one is another boss. I do believe it's a genuine boss, so I'm just going to head down, see if I can find it and see if we can uh, have a look around that one as well. Right, so as I just head down here, I found the Mustang that came in, the uh, the third 6970 generation of Mustang. There we are. Now this is also a Boss. Another Boss 302. Not only that, but it uh, tells you on the registration that it is actually a true Boss 302. Another astounding car. And I have to say, obviously, not that I'm biased at all, but the best wheels in the world, having the uh, Wolf Race slots on there. Window louver at the back. We really are blessed today with this many Mustangs. So nice to see them all. And of course, it's the weather that brings them all out so on a day like this. I mean, it was truly miserable this morning when I left home. But now the weather's changed and the sun's out and it's really quite warm here. This is what brings all the cars out. So uh, I found a bunch of Japanese cars and uh, a couple of freshly restored, a Range Rover and an E-Type Jag. So we'll go and have a look at those. I'll throw some music over the top on this one, just to have a look around and enjoy some of the other cars that are on display here today.
And again, this is a, another local car from uh, up my neck of the woods. Always good to see this out on the road again. And uh, the gentleman that owns this also just happens to own this amazing rat rotted beetle. Such a huge selection and varied cars, vehicles here today. Makes it worthwhile. Anyway, over to the music and enjoy this selection. I see how it is. I see where the party's happening. Oh. All the wine will be out later, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, as usual, at any car show anywhere, we have a brace of MGs, Fs, TFs, Midgets, BGTs, Roadsters. And the odd Volvo thrown in just for good measure. Now the amount of cars that are here today is truly outstanding. I think in total there has to be at least something for everybody to enjoy. Well worth coming to. Once again, it's at Mary's Inn in Stanington, just off the A1 as you head north towards Morbeth or past Morbeth. Some amazing cars, some very valuable cars. Cars dotted around everywhere. Every classic VW there. TVRs. <laughs> Some more twos, another TVR. Another classic mini over here, complete with roll cage. And then next to that, another MR2. Mustang there for uh, your into your modern Mustangs. Oh, Steering wheel's on the wrong side though. Oh. And then there's this Celica. Again, belongs to another friend of mine. You may have seen this car on the channel before. 
Such a varied and eclectic mix of cars that have turned up today. And another car owned by a friend of mine is this absolutely drop dead gorgeous 1955 Ford Thunderbird convertible. Looking amazing in red here today. Red interior, red paintwork, lovely white wall tyres. What a fantastic car this is. Always a pleasure to see it at any car show. Now you might have noticed this next one hiding in the background from earlier on today when I was wandering around. I finally managed to grab a couple of minutes with the owner. He's going to give us some more information about the car. But before he does that, here's some footage of it parking this morning. And then a few minutes ago, as he was moving it, getting ready to load on the trailer in order to go home. And also some footage on what it's usually used for and where you can normally find it. finally managed to catch up with the owner who's actually a really good friend of mine. Uh, this behind me is a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner and it belongs to Ethan Live. It just so happens I've got Ethan here with me but I get some information off him about the car and what he does with the car. Hi Ethan, um, thanks for doing this little piece to camera today. Yeah, so fine. other than the fact that it's a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner um, and yours, can you tell me a little bit about it for the viewers who don't know much about this type of car? Yeah so it's a 69 Roadrunner as Nigel's just said. It's got a Aluminium 572 cubic inch Keith Black big block Mopar engine, uh, 727 torque flight, uh, reverse pattern, three speed, uh, Dana 60 rear end. Uh, it's 
it's an out-and-out -out drag car. It's, it's not a road car. It will eventually go on the street, but I'm not sure with this engine combination. Uh, yeah, so it's predominantly it was originally built as a super gas car uh, to run 990s, uh, where I ended up putting it into Pro ET after my father bought the vehicle and had it restored into the original paint job that it was. Uh, so it's best now is a 941, 145 mile an hour. Uh, it's been a few, well, it's, it's been nearly a year since I've had it out, but uh, I'm going to take it down for the hotter drags next weekend at Santa Pod Raceway. And of course, this particular car um, itself has been over in the UK for, is it four or five decades? It's been over here yeah, for an hour well, originally. I'm not sure the year that it came over, but it was less than five years old when it came here. Uh, got converted into a race car in 1977. And if you've if you followed my channel for any length of time, or if you get around all the drag race tracks in the UK, either Santa Pod or Melbourne Raceway down in York, you've probably seen the car down there doing its stuff. And it can be seen, I think I'm right in saying it can be seen at the Hot Rod Drags at Santa Pod this coming weekend. Yep, uh, we're booking for the Saturday and the Sunday at the Hot Rod Drags, so hopefully the weather's all right and we'll get a couple of runs in. So if you're going down there to Santa Pod for the Hot Rod Drags, or if you just want to catch up with some of the other videos that will appear on YouTube with regards to it, hopefully you'll see the car run and it'll be a successful weekend and Ethan might do very well and get through the finals in the, in the actual racing on the day. That's absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much, Ethan, for your time. I'll uh, I'll let you finish getting everything tied up because yep, the car's on the trailer up. ready to go home. And I'll catch you later. Cheers, thank thank you. you. Well, <laughs> on that bombshell, as Ethan ties the car up and gets it secured down to the trailer so he can take it back to where it lives, uh, and everybody else behind us seems to have gone, as you can see, there's some empty spaces in the field behind her. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to caress the like button on the way out. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.